All right, so this is the, the app. Uh, the Bluetooth dongle is connected. If you just try and connect to it, it won't find it. So what you have to do is go to the settings uh, and use the Bluetooth function on your uh, device. Do a search and it's coming up right here. Click on it and connect to it. Now it says connected. So then we should go back to the app and it should recognize, there it is. So we just click on that. You'll see that the power indicator symbol right, is showing that it's synchronizing and that went from red to green. So basic, a basic overview of this. Um, so at the bottom, well, let me start uh, yeah, at the bottom here, okay? Um, so I, I had already went ahead on the my laptop and loaded a preset. And what you're seeing here is the delay. And you're seeing it uh, shown in inches. So right now it's the, the green square here is, is indicating that all of these uh, numbers here are in inches. Uh, it's channel one, two, three, four. I, I'm not using five and six and seven and eight. Channel one and two are my tweeters. Channel three and four are my midwoofers. Uh, that, that consists of my front stage. And then seven and eight are for the subwoofer. All right, so if we go to the EQ, all right, you can see here, um, there's a little graph. Uh, it's showing uh, what EQ has been applied in graphic form. And then we have uh, our 10 bands of, these are actually parametric EQ equalizers. All right. So for each one, if you click on it, it'll highlight. Here it has the attenuation. All right. So number one is minus 6.9 dBs, the Q is 1.983, and the frequency, or the target frequency for that is 137 hertz. And there's two, so minus 1.8 uh, for attenuation, the Q, or well the, the, the shape of the uh, slope at the 476 hertz frequency is 0.999. And so on. Well, I went, like I said, I went. This is uh, <clears throat> what I did when I uh, did my initial tune. I used Room EQ Wizard with a uh, Mini DSP microphone and Auto EQ. That's how I came up with these numbers. Uh, channel one and two, like I said before, you can see uh, the tweeters. Um, channel three. Uh, is the left midwoofer, channel four is the right midwoofer, five and six I did not use. You can see it's just flat. And seven and eight are linked together. Um, I did that on the software for the PC, which um, for some of you, uh, you may not know this, you will, you will find out. Uh, just like most apps, um, they're sort of limited in comparison to the software for the PC, um, they're sort of a simplified, simplified version of it. And you can still do everything you can with the uh, the PC, but it's not um, as extensive. Uh, there are a few less things. I can compare that later on. <clears throat> All right, so there's your EQ section. Uh, then you have the output section. Uh, this is where we set our crossovers. Um, so we have, let's go to channel one, that's the tweeter, that's the left tweeter, so I have a Lakewoods Riley crossover. Um, this is actually, these are actually full range drivers, so that's why you see 1500 hertz for the high pass filter, which means that it, everything 1500 hertz and up uh, passes by, everything below that is 
attenuated at a slope of 24 dBs per an octave. Um, so there's my left tweeter, my right tweeter, there's my left midwoofer. Uh, here you can see I have a high pass filter at 62 hertz and a low pass filter at 1500 hertz which corresponds with the tweeters. So this is a band pass because we have a, a high pass and a low pass on one driver. So there's your left midwoofer and right midwoofer. Um, again, five and six are not used in the DSP. And then there's my subwoofer. Um, and here you can see um, I have the low pass set for 75 hertz, 24 dB per octave with a Butterworth filter on it. Uh, and channel 8 should be the same because they're linked. Then we have the mixer. Um, so these are the input channels, 1 through 4, which correspond to the input here. So we've got 1, 2, 3, sorry, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, and you can see which output channel it's connected to. So we'll go to channel one, that's my tweeter. That's connected to input one, which is right here. And that's the left channel. We'll go to channel two, okay. Um, channel two is right there. That is the right channel. So that's uh, the input channels I use for my tweeter that come from my head unit. Um, and the way the app works is um, if I wanted channel 1 to be that, I would just turn this down, turn that up, and then just switch to input 1. Um, and I'll play with this later, but it looks like you can mix and match them too. Not sure how that's going to work yet, but we'll, we'll find out. Alright, so let's see. Uh, channel 3. Alright, so that's we're selecting three as the output and we're connecting it to, in this case, channel input one again, because that's my source. All right, so like I said before, that's my left midwoofer, All right, my right midwoofer. You can see as I go from left to right, it corresponds with left and right. All right typically on, well, I shouldn't say, it's typically for me. I always use red as right, and white is left. It's all completely up to you guys, but that's the way I like to do it. Um, and then I can't make a mistake because I always do the same thing. I do that with my amplifiers, my DSPs, my head units, you know, whatever I'm using. If it's uh, a white and a red, which is very common, red is right, white is left. <coughs> um, so again, five, and six are not used. Seven uh, is the subwoofer channel. The left side and the right side, channel eight is the subwoofer channel. And you can attenuate uh, these. They should, let's see, that should be the same on seven because they're linked. Okay, it's not. So the app's a little different. All right, so that's a basic overview of uh, how the app works. And there's our presets again. There's your master volume.